everybody, what's up? So, thank y'all for coming back again. Um, today, we're going to be doing part two of the Shigeen intro uh, that we started last time. So, let's jump into it. Okay, so, if you remember from last time, we went through these little markers. So, again, these little marks indicate our pitch using the Japanese scale um, found with the electric conductor. Also went through some of these symbols so again here this is uh, again sort of the uh, visual representation of your voice so if we started at our three and a half hana hirakeba going down ah up again ah, ah so again it would be the three and a half going down to a three up to a three and a half and then back down uh, to the three. And then we would continue. So here's our three. So our final note here would be the same start here. So hirakeba cho. So it's the same thing. Jumping up to the uh, sixth. Edani. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's kind of sore. My bad, bro. Um, cho edani So again here, um, this would be starting at the six, going down to the five, up to the seven, and then sort of bouncing down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up until we get to the... Um, I think it's the two. So again, here it's kind of crazy because it's not actually written, but there's still that um, bouncing down the stairs kind of vibe. You feel me? So Mitsu. And there's a lot more detail and nuance to the vibrato of your voice, but we'll get to that later. So, uh, before moving on to the next column here, I want to briefly try to explain what this is talking about, because I'm, you know, I think I wouldn't be doing y'all justice if I just talked about singing this and never told you what in the hell we're singing. So, hana, sorry, hana hirakiba. Hana is the flower. Hirakiba is open, so with flowers open. Cho, which is um, a, a, a butterfly. Edani mitsu. So basically, um, is you'll have many, many butterflies will gather, right? So a lot of butterflies gather. Now what this is supposed to represent is if you have a whole bunch of stuff, if your flowers are blooming, you know what I'm saying? If you're balling, you know, if you, if, if you, if, if you got them stacks, you feel me? If you're making paper, you feel me? Then all these people will be around. All these people come. But then we have here the second column. So the second column is the, uh, in, in the um, flow of this story, you can consider this part here the however. So let's look at this. Now, with the last part here, where's where, where my finger? Where's my finger, bro? There we go. Here, it ends kind of low, right? Mitsu. Now, here, there's nothing really indicating where you start from. Here, this would be a, um, I think it's a two, or a two and a half. I think it's a two. So it starts out kind of low. So, hana. 
So again, we have that little vibration. So go ha 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 ha. So ha na. <clears throat> sorry, really sorry about my throat. So then we would go up to the three. And here in a bit, I'm going to play uh, on the um, digital conductor what it actually sounds like. So you can kind of hear it. Um, so ha na. Shasudeba. So again, three, right? Start off with a three. Shasudeba. So again, going up to that three and a half, uh, which would be here, and then going back down to the three. Here again, uh, we have Cho, which is again the butterfly. So we're, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but this would be the five. Uh, so Cho. And now here, this little upward tick, um, I think you call it a forward, it kind of looks like the forward slash. Um, this is, you could think of this as a, a sort of a spike up, right? So Cho. And this would be a spike up upward, right? To this. So if this is the five, we're jumping up to the six, and then we're immediately jumping back down. It's like cho mata. Now here, again, really sorry for the voice. You have these uh, tick marks, but they're spaced out. Here at the top, you'll see we have it's it's all connected, right? So it's like hana. Right, so the, the, the vibrato is all connected. Uh, but here, it would be more kind of choppy. So, mata. Right, again, apologize for my voice, man. Uh, but it'd be, it's more chopped up. So we're going to kind of breaking our way upwards to that seven. So we go for that five. Cho, mata. Right, so here we're kind of flowing downward. Instead of the going down the stairs, here this is more of a flowing down or easing our way down with it. You know what I'm saying? So like, mata. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, you know, if I make any mistakes on this, I apologize. I'm just trying to get y'all uh, the basics, you know what I'm saying? And then, Mare Nadi. Now, here, here, we're going to be basically going from the seven down to the, uh, I think it's the three on this. But again, I'll play it here in a little bit um, so you can hear it. Um, and then here, no, no, yeah, yeah, I think we go down to the, the three on this one, sorry. And then up to the three and a half, and you'll see this kind of slope here, right? It's like line, and it kind of goes down. So what this is, is we're going to start our last part, D, on this three and a half. And then halfway through, we're going to go down to a three. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Mare Nadi. So it's that E. So that up, down. You know what I'm saying? So Mare Nadi. And there's that additional vibrato. And one thing I forgot to say is with this section the meaning is kind of the exact opposite so here we have when the flowers bloom all the butterflies will gather right so if you have all this money you know if you're balling out all these people come but here but it's the opposite when the flowers aren't in bloom the flowers are you know withered or empty um the butterflies don't come and it doesn't exactly mean don't come, but, but essentially uh, what this says is that the flowers aren't blooming. They're not, you know, um, they're not looking as beautiful. Then the, the butterflies don't gather, essentially. 
Um, so it's kind of saying when all of your stuff goes away, when you lose all your 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 beauty, your riches, um, all those people go away. However, you know, it may sound really sad and depressing, but that's what this part's for. So it gets it gets happier, but we'll we'll go through this uh, later on. So I want to try and sing through this part. So if Hana Chasureba Cho Mata Mare Nari and just just because why not let's do these first two columns so we can start at our three Hana Hirakeba Cho Edani Mitsu Hana Chasureba Cho Mata Mare Nani. And that's part two. Um, again, apologize for my throat is feeling kind of bad today. Um, but I hope that makes sense. I hope you get it a little bit. Sorry, my, my wash is just finished um, washing. Um, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this started. You feel me? Um, uh, again, I'm not a teacher. I've only been doing this a few years, but I want to share it with y'all. Um, you know, want to want to get y'all on this as well. You, you feel me? So, um, just like last time, y'all hit me up. Let me know what y'all think. Um, yo, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I mean, you know, is there anything that y'all need me to do better to make this easier for y'all to understand? You know what I'm saying? Uh, just let me know. I right, hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I'll, if y'all want, y'all let me know. I'll hit y'all up with the next one, and uh, we'll keep this going. Uh, but thanks, y'all, for watching. Love y'all. Have a good one. Bye.